Let's get to a big news break coming in on the electoral bonds case. The petitioners in the case, the Association of Democratic Reforms, has filed a contempt petition before the Supreme Court seeking action against the SBI as well as the center. The ADR says there's clear contempt here as the SBI did not submit bond details to the Election Commission uh, by March 6th, which was the deadline set by the Supreme Court. Remember that the SBI has sought extension of time. They've sought time till June 30th, citing practical difficulties in actually providing all the necessary details. But the Association of Democratic Reforms, which is the chief petitioner in this case, has said that the SBI has willfully and deliberately disobeyed the judgment passed by the Supreme Court. I want to bring in our legal editor, Nalini, for more details on this. Nalini, good morning. The ADR, as expected, has now filed a contempt petition against the SBI. Yes, Ashita, and what the Association for Democratic Reforms is asking is that contempt proceedings should be initiated against uh, SBI for not meeting the deadline. What they are saying is that the State Bank of India willfully defied the Supreme Court orders and not only is this against the right to know of the Indian citizens, but it is also disrespect to the five-judge constitution bench that had passed this judgment on the 15th of February. Because even in that judgment, Akshita, the bench had said that people have a right to know about where the political parties get their funding from. And for that very same reason, SBI was asked to provide all of this data to the election commission by the 6th of March. But that deadline has expired, even though SBI has moved an application asking for an extension of time before the deadline has expired. So that application is still not been taken up by the Supreme Court for hearing. So due to that, there are no other orders in place granting an extension of time, which is why ADR has now filed this application seeking initiation of contempt proceedings because SBI effectively has missed the deadline to comply with the Supreme Court direction. All right. Thanks very much, Nalini, for getting us all of those details.